Well, here's some terrible lighting, plus some, um, it's early morning, <clears throat> and I don't have my coffee with me, <laughs> but I do have some awful juice. I really don't know how awful it is. It just seems a little bitter. As you can see, I'm in front of a pool, and no, it's not the pool at my um, trailer park. I'm in Ormond Beach, Florida. I came all the way here to see a camper van. It never fails to amaze me how crooked people can be. This was an 85 year old man losing his vision and no, it wasn't because he was losing his vision that he was a crook. It's a good thing I brought Maggie with me. She worked on cars with her brother and she's quite good at spotting things. I'm just discouraged. I was so certain I found my van. I was so certain I found my miracle. And it hurts. It hurts. But you know, something really wonderful came out of it. Maggie and I were able to talk. She said, Mom, I hate to see you spinning your wheels like this. I'm so sure vehicles are going to come down in price if you can be patient and wait. I'd rather you stay with us than rent a room or go off on your own. She said, I know you want to travel and you're going to get that chance. But right now, I just wish you'd come stay with us and we'll make it work. <clears throat> to be so loved and cared about by your daughter-in-law is a shocker. I mean, seriously, I've, I've heard some stories that like, it's very sad, the things I've heard <clears throat> about, oh, give me a minute here. Can I pause this? Yeah, anyway, the stories I've heard about daughter-in-laws, like keeping the grandparent from seeing their grandchildren or you know, um, what's the word, estrangement from their own son. I don't have anything like that. I am so incredibly blessed. This woman, Maggie, my daughter, she, she loves me. She loves me, I think, as much as she loves her own mother. I'm telling you. It's just... Boy, Michael knows how to pick them, I'll tell you. He knew what kind of a woman she was, and he picked so well. That was a miracle, how they found each other. There are miracles. I'm just not finding mine. Well, maybe I have found my miracle. Maybe my miracle is in my family, and I'm not seeing it. There's a lot going on right now, and... A lot, I'll tell you as we go along. But boy, is it steamy out here. My glasses are fogging. Well, I guess that's it. Hey, look. If I look just straight at me, it looks like I'm looking into the camera. When I look up at the camera, it must look like I'm looking up. Does that matter? I don't know. So we're going to go to the beach today. And we're going to um, have a little bit of fun before we have to drive back. Um, I got a hotel because, you know... Oh, wait a minute, I have to sneeze. Florida pollen. Gesundheit. You didn't hear that sneeze. I caught it in time. Yeah. What was I saying? I don't know. Finn, he has a really hard time, you know. Oh, he was so, so patient. What a good little boy he was. He, um, three hours one way. And, and that's not easy on a five-year-old, especially one as rambunctious as Finn. And Mama... I love you. And then he'd say, Aya, I love you. Are we there yet? <laughs> so loving and so dying to get out of that car. So we made one stop and I got him a little ice cream. But you know, he doesn't eat big people food yet. Maggie has to really mash it up because um, Finn has a swallowing issue. And... Uh, it's nothing that, you know, nothing 
you can really, he's in therapy for it and a few other things. Um, he has some other issues with um, his his legs and such. And um, I mean, he, he looks like he walks and runs just fine. It's just the development there, uh, it isn't happening like it should be. So there's some weakness and stuff. And, uh, and you know, I, I try to, I try to keep that in consideration. Here Maggie is taking time away from her life and her husband, my son, and they're just so good to me. You know, Michael never says anything. Dennis, my husband, would have been all, do you have to go? Why can't they do it? You know, I mean, Michael's just not like that. He'd do anything for me. My God, it's amazing, you know? It's amazing how loved I am, and I'm so grateful for it. So maybe that's my miracle. And we had a good time. Last night we went and we got some fish and chips. Yes, I spent money. And um, there was this guy playing guitar and he was playing all my favorites. And it was just lovely. The whole thing has been a nice little break. I thought I was going to be driving away today. Maggie would drive the camper van home and I'd drive the rental car. But that's not what happened at all just I don't know I guess it's time to reevaluate like Maggie says she says mom I know you're not gonna want to stay forever but stay a little while we can work it out and so I'm going to stop turning my wheels and the other good thing is that the woman buying the trailer she said look I'm, I'm gonna be held up there's gonna be an extra two weeks in September if you want to stay and I said, no, I'm going to Brimfield, but now I'm not so sure. It really is coming down to the wire. I didn't want to book Brimfield unless I had a vehicle to haul my stuff. And I don't. So, yeah, I don't know. But I do know where my storage is. It's pretty reasonable right now, 73 a month in, um... There's two availabilities that I need to book it pretty soon. Um, yeah. They won't give me um, a week in advance to book, so I have to. Uh, I feel all swollen. I think that fish and chips was a bad idea. I don't usually eat fried food. I don't feel too bad. Does it matter? Well, that's my story about the van that got away. I just... Sometimes we think, this is my miracle, and that's just not the plan. And it's really hard right now, because I do like my independence, and I do want to be independent, and I still will be, because I'm going to help Maggie around the house, you know, I'm just that way. And I'll be watching Finn and giving her a break, and I know she needs that right now. So, yeah, I'm still looking. I'm not going to give up looking, but I think I'm going to stay close to home. I said that before, but I was so sure this was the one. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, it's a 1985, but it has only 41,000 miles on it. He's such a liar, such a liar. An old man going blind and, and lying through his teeth. Oh, I'll tell you all about it another time. I'm just so shocked at the... I'm disgusted with the human race sometimes. Not, nothing against you guys. And thank you. Um, thank you, Karen. Thank you for thinking about me. You know, I woke up this morning, I checked my emails, and it just really lightens my heart. And I might have my AdSense problem resolved. They're verifying my bank account finally. I had to use a different bank. I don't know, it's a really screwy app. But anyway, I may be getting paid. I'm so excited. It's a good thing. Yep. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Sorry it's a horizontal, but my arm's getting really tired. I gotta go. Bye!